Welcome back to On Comics. I am, of course, the ever-loving Lonnie Webb, here to talk about comics with you. This is an, an On Comics Indie Spotlight. There we go. And uh, if you don't mind, please take just a moment to like, share, and subscribe. I will be, be very, very happy, very thrilled, and, and just super, super excited if, uh, if you do that. And uh, that will, in fact, make the YouTube algorithm very, very happy. Crowdfunders to talk about and one very big recommendation to make. Cody Valiant. This is a, this is a uh, different kind of comic. Donk. There we go. The artwork looks different here. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you the trailer. And it's not going to come through very well, but let's let's take a look at the artwork. It's far superior to a lot of stuff that I've looked at. This one goes, brother. <laughs> uh, like, trust me when I tell you, I live for stuff like this. Cody Valiant is not like any book I've seen before. I, this is next level stuff. I mean, I've seen some of this stuff. I don't remember art like this in a comic or anything along those lines. It, it's, um, it's different. It's unusual. And I do it quite a bit. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I want that. When is this going to be launched? There we go. Uh, Cody Valiant has been launched. The legendary outlaw hero, the ultimate thrill ride of a lifetime. This comic book is Star Wars meets Cowboy Bebop. Now that's interesting, all by itself. Let's uh, let's scroll down here a ways. Uh, looks like it is being offered in a bundle with the Interstellar comic. Let's uh, let's uh, give him a little bit of a read here. Who who are we? Uh, this is Sean Fry with Big Bang Comics. These are an interest. This is an interesting group of guys. Um, the art is all highly referenced. It reminds me a lot of video games in the '90s. In that's when the uh, multimedia video games first started coming out. Lots of neon color, lots of uh, pizzazz, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's form over substance, but let's, let's give them a look. Welcome to the world of the legendary outlaw hero Cody Valiant. This is Cody Valiant's first outing in the stars above, but the sixth book in the overall connected comic universes of Biff Bam Boom Comics. Cody Valiant Zero Issue is the ultimate sci-fi space western that you never know you needed to read. Hey guys, there's 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 an opportunity to edit. I'll just say that. The uh, the um project is a love letter to all the major sci-fi writers, artists, directors, and fans of this genre. Cody Valiant is a character that feels old but brand new at the same time. He is he has been just a fun character to write and the energy behind him has been infectious from everyone that has seen his images or his animation short. Hopefully one day he will take his place as a part of pop culture and grow his own cult-like following. Uh, I'm thinking that's the cover. And there is the uh, animated short. Well, we'll push on down here. This is, this is what an actual page of art looks like. And as I said, it's highly referenced yeah, I, I don't know if this is a filtered photo or, or what, but that's what we're uh, expecting to see in the pages. So I'm giving you a little bit of a view there. 
like I said, this looks a lot like the 90s video games that started to bring in multimedia with uh, semi-produced uh, film clips. And there's some stuff going on. Um, and, uh, and here we get even more. This, this does actually communicate a, a feel of uh, Cowboy Bebop just a bit, doesn't it? And what we need and what you get, the book will be 100% finished and shipping. We'll start after this campaign, 60 days are finished. We need the money. There, I think that's another opportunity for an edit. We need the money for printing perks and shipping the products out to you. And anything extra will be reinvested into the company and the new, the next few issues in Cody's series. During the campaign, you can get all the other titles in the 3B Comics universe. Interstellar issue, mature 32 page romance comic. Okay, all right. So these are the other comics that are in the 3B universe. And it almost looks like the same uh, same person as being modeled there, but uh, we can't fault them. They, an indie group probably doesn't have just a great deal of people for their uh, their digital models. Okay, um, I'm not sure who that is. I I, I think that's one of the writers. Yeah, or maybe the art. It must be the writer. Yeah. And the creative team. Ah, here we go. Sean Fry, cover artist and artist and co-creator. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Sean Fry. And... Okay. I, I don't know who the other two guys are. But hopefully we'll find out. Risk and challenges, rest assured. Uh, okay. And it looks like $30 gets you the, uh, the bundle. And there is a digital for seven. I encourage everyone to check them out. That link will be in the description box for this video. Now, while we're here, the private American not really sure what the private American exactly is. And there I am. Private American. Looks like the premise is that America's border is a war zone. Well, yeah, it kind of is. Let's take a look at their trailer. America's southern border has become a war zone. Human traffickers, drug smugglers, and terrorists flow across the Rio Grande with impunity, secure in the knowledge that no one will stop them. A distant federal government lectures Americans on their privilege while punishing overworked border patrol agents who were helpless to stem the tidal wave of invaders and determined migrants. Second-generation Cuban-American Marcos Zamora is a military vet, more patriotic than most Americans. No longer able to ignore the chaos at his doorstep, he acts. Joined by his best friend Gus, they hit the border every night, saving lives while stopping violent drug cartels and other opportunists. The government reacts with fury at Marco's attempts to preserve American sovereignty, deploying the full might of their enforcement agencies. But Marcos understands that the only thing the rich and powerful fear is bad publicity, and he records every encounter. Whoever he is, this private American must be stopped. Illustrated by Richard Bonk and written by Eisner winner Mike Barron, Private American is his version of Captain America, and maybe a little Punisher, taking part in this ongoing, violent, and very real battle of good versus evil in the war for American sovereignty. Grab your copy at theprivateamerican.com. We have a secure border. And that is a priority for our administration.
The U.S. border with Mexico has been overrun with lawless coyotes flowing across the sorry, Rio Grande, bringing in weapons, smuggling illegal drugs, and trafficking sex slaves across the country. Border Patrol agents are overwhelmed and seemingly powerless, while the U.S. government refuses to help. In fact, the administration seems to actively support open borders. But when the violence reaches his doorstep, one man takes matters into his own hands. Okay, let's look at this. All right, all right, that's a familiar style of art in the, uh, in the comics world. Um... I think the uh, the trailer tells us all this too. You can, you can go read that paragraph if you want. Uh, I I put the link in his link to his sorry Indiegogo in the description box. Okay, okay, some sharp inks. All the line work is. Consistent, but there's not a lot of variance in the way. Oh, I like that page. I like that page. That that just brings in a lot of uh, of depth here. Let me turn me off so you can see what I'm looking at. Turn no, turn me, turn me off. There we go. I think there we go. And look, just look at that. That works. That works really well. Lots of depth. Still would like to see a little more weight in those lines right there. Okay. Okay. But who wrote for what? Marcos is a mashup. Okay, that's that's what we were hearing about there before. Private American and that artwork looks a little bit uh, peacekeeperish, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe a little gangbuster. Lots of action, a dog, <laughs> okay, there's Mike Barron, there's Florida Man? I've missed Florida Man. Rich Bunk. Uh, Witchblade, okay. Young Justice, Emperor Joker. I'd never read Emperor Joker. The Tenth, I have read. Okay, okay. All right, so I am giving a little bit of encouragement. I am definitely giving encouragement to to check this out. Uh, the digital edition is ten dollars. The Main cover edition is 25 and the all in is a is $75. I don't know what all in. Okay, you get cover A digital, cover B autograph card and your name is printed in the book. Okay? Yeah. Scroll up to the top. Oh, they are funded. Look at that. They are comfortably funded. Okay. I, I am encouraging you to give them a, a go. That's the Private American. Uh, they are going to be in the... Uh, their, their link is going to be below. Johnny Phantasm. All right. Johnny Phantasm, no matter, Extreme 93, so maybe this has been around longer than I thought it has. No matter how horrible things are, all things come to an end. 
Yeah, that sounds about right, doesn't it? All right, play the trailer. Oh, right there. Shane Davis has done a, uh, a, a cover for it. It is in demand. Uh, I think that that's a safe recommendation. It's already, it's already in, in delivery, so I, I think that that's plenty good to hear from Riot Press. And, okay, one, one additional note. The, uh, the people behind Johnny Phantasm are in Florida, and I do know uh, that they have... Oh, my goodness. I, I have run into a display problem. Where has my display gone? Thunk. There we go. I'm sorry about that. Okay. <sighs> Johnny Phantasm... The, the creators are in Florida. They have been hit with the rains from the hurricane. Uh, I know their house has got some damage. I know that they've got water in their uh, bottom floor. I don't know if they're even two-story, but they've they've got water issues. So I'm I am encouraging you, uh, out of the goodness of your heart, to give these people a look. Now, this might be the Shane Davis artwork that kind of looks like Shane. And here we go. We got some things going on. I, I don't want to know anything. I, I want to enjoy the comic when I get a chance. Uh, there's a page of art that is good to look at. There is some... Uh, just a society type of war, uh, battle going on uh, borders on some Judge Dredd, doesn't it? Look at that. Yeah. Johnny Phantasm 2001. I, I don't know what that is alluding to. Okay. 1977 to 1989, Volume 1. Hmm. So there are multiple volumes that are available. Okay. Okay, and, and a little 3D printed guy. Oh, he glows. Collector's box. Wow, they, they really went to town here. Okay, let's let's go to the top. And all in 2.0 subscription. It's $185. It looks like you're going to be getting a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, you're getting a lot of stuff. And let's look over here at the Kion cover. Well, that's just it. Okay, $25 to get that delivered. The t-shirt is $30. Johnny Phantasm figure by itself is $30. And the fingerprint henchman? Don't know. $55. Both trades, volume 1 and 2, $65. Uh, the sign Keown is $75. 
the Halloween box set, which looks like you're getting a lunchbox? Okay. $145. Okay. I am putting this link in the description below. I think you will find it to be entertaining. And um, I'm just going to fade out and take you to look at the next thing. Now, this is my... I, I, I recommend you look at all of these Indiegogos, but this next one, I'm sold on. I, I really, really like this next one. So, that said, let's go look at La Fay. There we go. Uh, this is issue one. I don't know what issue we're on. Uh, I, was, I was given issue one uh, to preview. Yeah, I'm just going to scroll here and, and show you the artwork. I'm going to tell you what I think. This is uh, Morgan Le Fay. And she gets a two-page origin story here where she was dueling with Merlin. I think most of us know this story from the mythical tales of King Arthur. Merlin and Morgan Le Fay went into a duel. And in most versions of this story, as it's told, uh, Morgan Le Fay is... Uh, put on ice, and uh, in, in this version of the story, she uh, is a, has fairy wings, and Merlin takes her wings from her, leaving her a uh, mostly mortal human, uh, or mostly immortal human, I guess. And, um, uh, you know, Merlin's broken up about that. That's sad. Some interesting yet weird dudes show up. Uh, warlocks and witches. They find Le Fay all chained up and uh, more or less on ice. And they, they recover her. Well, in the future, in modern times, she has, uh, she has slidden. She is uh, a, a struggling person with vices, all vices, and uh, is, is not doing exceptionally well. Now, this is a female Constantine. Not a Joanna Constantine, not, I'm sorry, Constantine. This is a, uh, a, a straight up female Constantine with all the character flaws, with all the bad connections, and, and kind of clunky relationships with relying on people who are not uh, probably the best influences on our character, but uh, that's, that's just fine. The artwork here is good. It's sharp. It, uh, to me, looks like a D DC house style. And let me just scroll on down here. I, I don't want to go through that. Um, so we, we end on some, uh, some violence occurring and, uh, and a critter who has shiny eyes. Let me hop over here and take you to, aha, so issue number two of Le Fay, she, uh, she's really let herself go. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. Uh, this is Marcus Dupree's outfit with uh, Metzger in the riding seat. I like it. I like it. I, I like both of those guys. I didn't think I liked Marcel Dupree years ago, but um, the combination with Metzger has, uh, has kind of sold me a bit. Let's not do that to my YouTube channel. And... Uh, here we have some some things going down, some kind of kind of bad characters and other characters, and and magic happens, and uh, and abductions follow. So 
like uh, there is action, there are words. Uh, so if you're if you're a reader, you're going to be reading. If you're just a page flipper, you're going to enjoy it for the art. Uh, and uh, like I said, it's a DC style. There are some technical errors if you zoom in ridiculously tight. Um, I, I don't think that it's worth picking on the, the artists for that kind of thing. They, they've done a, a very good job of putting this comic together and telling a story that does flow and the stakes do grow from issue to issue. I'm sold on it. I'm, I'm going to be getting me some. So uh, let's, uh, let's hop back over to the right place. Stay. Back to me. I think that's uh, a good place to take it. All those links are in the description. I encourage you to at least look at each one of those uh Indiegogos, those crowdfunders, you're not going to go wrong by it. And uh, if um, you're, you've seen the kind of art, you've seen the, uh, the, uh, the, the quality of the sample pages that are posted up there, uh, if, if you don't come away with at least one of those comics, uh, shame on me. I've not sold you on, uh, on what I have seen. Um, the... Lafay is is my favorite. The the others are definitely holding my interest. They all have action. They all have uh, some degree of story. I wasn't able to read some of the other stories, so uh, let me let me leave you with that. And um, I do still have a review coming up of oh of a Rocky Jones movie. I didn't know there was a Rocky Jones movie. I didn't know who Rocky Jones was. Uh, I, I'm not that old. So that's something that's coming up, and I'm pretty sure that we'll have John the White back. He's, uh, he's gotten a lot of attention. Uh, support Noel Clark if you have a chance, the hashtag justice for Noel Clark. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back into my video history and take a look at some of the other videos concerning Noel Clark, um, and uh, we had a, uh, recently had a good talk with John White on Brexit that was very enlightening. I didn't know all of the history. Being uh, a Texan, I wasn't exposed to as much as uh, John had to share with us. Okay, uh, that said, I'm going to Wrap it up here. You all take care. Buy at least one of those comics. They're, they're too good to pass up. I will uh, see you all when I can. Please take care of yourselves.